You guys, it is William, Suzanne, and Esma calling from the Moroccan Oil Beauty Booth here inside the Rotterdam Ahoy. We're getting our glam on, but before we do that, we need to review Leslie Roy and her performance of MAPS Semifinal One. Should we talk about it? Let's, Let's do, do this! this. Before we start, let's just say rehearsals are here so that artists can rehearse, okay? When you're using new technology, when you're trying new things, experimenting, it's obviously not all going to work the first time, and indeed it will need extra work behind the scenes. I think that may be what's going on here. What we saw was very much a test, it seemed they weren't beaming everything into the press center. There could be an after-screen effect that TV viewers see, but that we don't see. So it's actually quite hard to judge this because we aren't actually seeing the full roadmap. We're just seeing maybe the GPS coordinates. Like she's landed somewhere in this realm of technology where she's immersed on a journey, like running through a forest, becoming the spine of a book with pages flapping on either side, ocean waves at one point as she runs. Like Sylvain Areg at Destination Eurovision 2019, he was in a different world, like a paper cutout, paper mache puppet world. Um, or as this, yeah, she's on a journey with the staging, both literally, in the sense that she's running all over the place, and then also just in terms of the screen, because I don't think they've arrived at their final destination with the staging. In any case, Suzanne, why don't you take over, talk about the look, and slay. <laughs> So, you know, if you all remember 2019, Victor Crone had a lot of difficulty in his first rehearsals, and I stood by him through that entire Eurovision season, and he remained my top two, and in the end, I feel like he nailed it, even though his initial rehearsal was not fantastic. So, her soul is a map, her heart is a compass, she is the road, and all we really needed was Leslie. The staging, I believe, there's so much more to it. I do believe that we were really missing the effects. And I believe that when it all comes together, it's all, not to sound cliche, but it's all just going to come together. We are going to get to take that journey home with her as she follows her heart. Um, she looked so beautiful, though, y'all. That green pantsuit she was wearing. Not a pantsuit, but she was wearing, like, wide-legged, flowy green pants and a beautiful green top, both of the same satiny, crepe-like material. Um, and then she had on this leather belt that just really brought in her waist stunning and her waves stunning. I can't wait to see the final. The final. It helped to find her already stunning silhouette, yes. cinching at the waist. It's a very I, good I trick. I drew, actually, her yeah. silhouette. And so here I've got, I had to write skinny Leslie because in my picture she doesn't look so skinny. So I wrote skinny Leslie and I tried to draw her curls. And here are some ocean waves and here's a tree. But this is my first image and I am no Robin Gallagher, but this is my first image of yeah, my first image. You know what? Aren't we near the International Criminal Court? Because this is a crime against humanity, what you just drew. I don't know who or what that was. But I will say she was serving an elevated Peter Pan realness. Mm -hmm. I got a mythic yeah. vibe. Do you know what I mean? Wow. Is it Tinkerbell? It was like Tinkerbell meets Peter Pan in a very high fashion way. Esma. I totally agree. At first, when I saw the rehearsal, I was a little confused, but I noticed that there still needs a lot of technical work, yeah. needs to be done. And I have faith in Leslie and the entire delegation. She is an amazing performer, and they will figure these issues out. Yeah, absolutely. I have no doubt. The ambition is clearly there. You know what? When you take risks, you got to work. And that's W-E-R-K, and they are working behind the scenes right now to perfect, to polish and perfect as if it was a Moroccan oil styling treatment. No, I'm just kidding. We're in this beauty booth, so I just like, <laughs> in any case, I think they we're... They took my hairspray today. Speaking of beauty well, you can't booth, bring they took my hairspray, Security, because it's a flammable liquid, and you can't bring that into, like, an event like this. I, I okay. In any case, final thoughts, I think there is still a lot of hope and a lot of anticipation for this. I think it was a wise move not to reveal everything publicly. Maybe they were doing it on the cameras behind the, you know, behind the scenes. Um, I think that's wise because you want to keep the hype going and keep things building. I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling optimistic. And I, yeah, I love Leslie. I thought she felt comfortable on stage. Mm -hmm. I, think she was, I think she was hitting her cues. And so let's just hope the technology falls in place. Ireland is not done. It is falling into place. 
I see great potential and they will figure this out. I'm super excited for the final performance. I do wonder, does she use the best-selling Moroccan oil hair <laughs> treatment? <laughs> In any case, we've got a lot more rehearsal reviews coming up. We're going to recap today a little bit later, probably from this booth, because yeah. the coloring is just amazing. And we will see you later. Bye. Bye.